Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcplanet 3. We are in Sabi Wilds. I was... I uh, decided that it's finally time to hunt the rest of the Wanted Monsters. And Goron appeared immediately on my first attempt. We also got some Vipers and Sidewinders, low-level enemies. Actually, that should be no problem. Um, and I'm not very interested in fighting them. I did not rest um, intentionally, because I'm still super cheap. I don't want to spend... <laughs> those are those hundred gauze any sooner than I absolutely need to and thus we have retreated into this corner I am contemplating using one of my cards oh yeah also this is the robot that we caught last time dual machine gun attacks sounds good um, since we can replenish this here I am tempted to use it although it's probably overkill because those all those snakes are very low on hit points um, yeah, I don't know. I think I want to keep the poison for the time being. And the wind attribute, so yeah. Let's just use this. Giant mech. Yep. They're all very, very dead. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> this hit points. Uh, the dog shot have survived, hopefully, so that I can try and steal from him. Yeah, nice. Okay. That gave him, like, uh, well, whatever is, whatever he gained in between about halfway and where he is now. Surprisingly little, but then again, those enemies were low level. Right. Now we can finally cure. The problem was, um, the reason why I didn't cure immediately because we all started out spread apart very far. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can still use a bit of healing. Like so. I don't know how hard that dog is gonna hit. Yeah. Medium hard, I'd say. Okay. Nope. <laughs> There. Please steal? Aw, oh, come on. Well, you could use Hardfield to. Well, have a very low reach on that. To make at least the two of you harder to damage. Well, you just hang back here. I don't think I have even enough for another heal. I think that's 12. I guess I'll check next time. Steel. Fur cape, yay! Okay, I guess we just skinned that dog. You know what? You have so much experience. So does Alec, actually. Yeah, lots needs experience, so... Uh, what? Cure dust, tech 12, okay. Yeah, this defense buff actually helps a lot. I should really consider using that way more often. Okay. Now I can't heal anymore. I think it's probably the smartest thing to actually go ahead, go ahead and heal. And I'm going to pause recording and meet you as I f as soon as I find the next quantum monster. And here we are. First attempt after resting, and we already got the vamp spore. Although I don't actually remember seeing that enemy's poster, but I guess I'm just forgetting. Got more sidewinders, we got some level 17 Desert Devils. Definitely interested in catching one of those. Okay, let's see here. I was gonna say, we should probably be able to one-shot these snakes. Certainly a good thing. Let's see if he can. Uh, barely, yes. Okay, this is too good an opportunity to pass up on. Oh wow, those scorpions must be very low on hit points. I didn't even realize. Yeah, only 22. Weird. Well, um, since I can reach the mushroom. Emblem of Lark. That sounds unique. 
at least. It might not be good, but it's definitely something that you don't usually see. Nice one. And he's level 20. Come rest, Theo. Remember when he was the lowest level by far? He's still pretty squishy, though. Alright, um... I mean, I guess we can start killing this thing now. Sure. So he's finally 19 now. Terrible level up. Uh, sure, I can... Might as well try capturing another one. Nope. Missed, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Curing still doesn't have a big, uh, bigger radius. That it might never get, actually. Um, lots of still a little bit behind Alec in terms of HP, though. Um, hit point wise, we're still looking kind of okay. I would like to heal Theo and Lutz if I could one spell, but um, actually I'm just going to end the turn here. I might try stealing from this thing. Steel failed, so they do have something. Okay, that gives me another chance to Kardish. Nope. Okay, taking lots now. Oh, actually, I could have healed now. Oh, whatever. One more attempt. Steel failed. Hmm. Nope. Not happening. Okay. Last attempt. Next round. He's... wait. Oh, that's not poison. So, what's that? Gravity? Oh no, I, I can move. I'm actually fine. What? Okay. Steel failed. What the heck? I mean, it's only level 17. Of course, yeah, sure. I, sure, it's still a random chance, or somewhat random. Well, no stealing from that guy. Well, then you can grab those couple of measly points of experience. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So... That means there's only two monsters remaining right here, right? I don't think I've gone here before, except on that one mission. We got slimes! Yay! Oh, and skeletons. Do I want to capture a slime, actually? I mean, I've never used one. I've never actually possessed one as a card that wasn't for quest purposes, so... Oh, nice. We got the Psychonidor right away. Um, kill a slime. Actually, what level are they? I'm assuming they're low level. Don't know if there are different level versions of the same enemies. Uh, they seem to be. I don't know if they were level five on the starting island though. Maybe these are slightly stronger, but yeah, level fifteen, level eighteen. Not a huge deal either way. Steel, please. Steel failed, of course. Oh, I actually didn't even look at um, what that new item I got last time was. Uh-oh. Hmm, hard decision. Do I buff defense first? I, I think I should. Yes. Stealing could take us a while, so... I'd rather make sure that Lutz actually survived. Okay. 
89, nice. Okay, steel. Shimmer stone, oh, that's upgrade material, that's good. Well, uh, try and cardish. I, actually, how many cards do I have? And what do these do? Floods ground, poison venom. <laughs> poison venom. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, seems a bit redundant. Um, I think these desert devils are higher level than pit scorpions, so their card is probably more potent. Two, three, four. Okay, I can capture another one. So yeah, let's do that. We're perfectly positioned, of course, to take all kinds of damage. Um, well, Elec, I guess you heal again. Actually, why don't you try stealing from the skeleton? It's weird that... I don't know, it almost feels like uh, stealing from those wanted monsters is easier than stealing from normal enemies. Maybe that's actually true because you only have very limited attempts to uh, even to ever steal from a wanted monster, so maybe they they increase the odds in that regard. Um, I mean, how many points do they have? 51. I'm probably not going to one-shot them with uh, whatever summon I choose to use. Eh, but then again. Whoops. I don't think Karch. Uh, in terms of of Kardash success, it even, man it even matters um, how you're positioned relative to the enemy. Okay, try to check Alec. I'm fine with that. Now, yeah, kill another slime because why not? These aren't actually worth any experience, so whatever. I think we're almost, or at least, uh, Lutz and Alec are almost equal in terms of XP anyway. Okay, he's a Theo. You can cure again. Didn't I want to steal? What happened to that plan, actually? Steal failed, of course. Okay. Actually, he might level up just from attacking that high-level enemy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Attack, defense, agility, magic. Magic up! What magic would that be? Probably his... I don't know if Kardash actually levels up. So, it's probably his... Um, Defense buff. Steal failed. I wonder if stealing, uh, if for stealing it actually matters what direction you you try to steal from. It, I mean, it would make it seem to make sense to try and steal from behind, but although you know, only to some limited degree. Huh? Actually, I don't know if current field was level two before. Counters level three. I mean, I I assume that just increases. Success rates? What else would it succeed? Uh, would it increase? If not that. Um, sure. Go ahead and kill that guy so he stops being a nuisance. Meanwhile, you, please steal from the skeleton just so my curiosity is sated. Nope. Any healing? Uh, actually, yes, kind of. Maybe from the side. Steel, steel sword. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, at least that can be sold. I still haven't looked at what I'm actually. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't look at this. There was piercing arrow of light. Okay. Cool. 
that's unexpected, actually. Arrow of Light, huh? Um, item. Nope. Item. Equipment. Right. Oh, yeah, and I did shift um, accessories around a little bit. Actually, Lutz was not immune to uh, paralysis, as I somehow assumed last time. Um, but he only had the Soothing Ring. I gave him the Falcon Statue so that he's actually immune to uh, Silence, because he's the one who can cure Silence with his spell. I mean, of course it sucks when Alec gets silenced, because he can heal could heal immediately. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Emblem of Lark. Completely prevents Paralyzed. Well, speak of the devil. So, I guess I'm just going to give him that. Um, so he's almost 20. He's still behind. There we go. Now that I think about it, they also seem to uh, have done away with the... Um, with that uh, property of undead enemies that uh, that seem to uh, or that used to collapse with uh, one HP left and had to be killed twice, basically. I think it was like that in the in both first games. Huh. Very weak enemies, including a new type that we have heard about. Actually, some I think someone some NPC mentioned that these um, forget what they're called hang out here stun smogs right. Well, unfortunately, not a wanted monster, but uh, I would like to capture one of these smogs while I'm here. In order to do that, I'll need to actually make room though, which might be a problem now that I think about it. Oh, well, they do have 36 hit points. Well, guess we'll see how much damage the... Um, actually, let me position him here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use up these the Pit Scorpion, assuming that Desert Devils are better. Just a better version, basically. Hopefully, this doesn't kill the things. Four damage, okay. So, that's mainly to apply... Uh, Poison debuff, I guess. Which doesn't seem to have been effective. Maybe not a huge surprise, considering the uh, kind of enemies we're fighting here. Oh, they're actually physically very resi uh, resistant, so... Oh, and they stun. Well, paralysis, yeah. Okay then, Alec. It's up to you. Thankfully, he's now resistant to that. 9, 6, attack up, defense up, new magic. Cool. Is that paralyzed? Oh, let's... Let's actually see... Uh, resurrection! Oh, wow. I didn't expect to get a spell like that so early. It is very expensive in terms of MP. Um, rightfully so, I suppose. But that is definitely very good to have. Um... I would like Lutz to wake up and maybe kill that enemy, if possible. Actually, I can soften him up. Oh, oh wow. He's like almost dead? Yeah, one hit point exactly. Hmm, does paralysis ever run out by itself? Oops, nope. Yeah, yeah. It might not, but then again, it probably will. I'm gonna try for a couple more turns. Nope, oh, still paralyzed. Oh, this is pretty bad. Yeah, let's just kill this thing. I guess... Just don't get paralyzed ever, in that case. Huh. Does silence run out? Would it be better to protect Lutz from 
paralysis so that he can use his uh, refresh to cure the rest of the party. Um, actually, hmm. let's see. Equip Alec, Insomnia, Lomo Lark, nothing. Uh, let's. I could give him both. Of course, now I only have. Oh, actually. Oh, huh, well. I mean, Alec is now protected from poison and sleep. I guess that's alright as well. Yeah, sure, why not? It still comes down to complete randomness, of course, in terms of who even gets attacked with what status effect, and even then, they don't always hit. Okay, more of those. Maybe we'll get the Wanted Monster additionally this time. Nope. Uh, well, in that case, we're just gonna run away because I don't particularly feel... Oh. Derp. I didn't catch one. Mm. And knowing my luck now, I'm never going to encounter those again. Okay, that wasn't... Very smart. Okay, another chance. Actually, two new types of enemy. Those ghost or phantom or whatever type enemies are probably way stronger than the slimes too, so... There's that. Still no wanted monster though. Well... Okay, um... Oh, it's actually his turn. Let's see here. Level 17 shade, yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, I could use Silent. And... I don't know what those shades do, but... If I can silence one of the stun clouds, stun smogs... Yep, so... That thing shouldn't... Hopefully... Oh, actually... It has a paralyzing normal attack, right? So maybe... Also, these things hit super hard. Um, relatively hard, anyway. Uh, my brain? So, maybe silence doesn't even protect or prevent the stun smog from paralyzing, which would suck. There we go, double kill. Some much needed experience for our little straggler. Okay, he survived, just barely. Um,. Please, Kardish. Good, okay. Uh, nope. You cure. Then Lutz can hopefully finish off the stun smog and... Hopefully, hopefully Theo will capture the... the shade. Like real soon. Um, yeah, you can attack like that. Level up, nice. Okay, attack, defense, agility, magic. Wonderful. And new magic, too. Nice dodge. Okay. Oh, you can't... Wait, what? Why can you not Kardish? Because... Four, five, oh. Welp. Um, in that case, that's Paralyzing Fumes. That sounds really, really useful. Piercing Arrow of Light. So, probably another elemental attack. Yeah, let's use one of these up. Okay. Oh, that enemy is actually poisoned now. And I'm going to... heal everyone again. Uh, I mean, three hit points of damage is actually fairly worth the effort. All right. No more paralysis. At least that's good. There we go. Nice one.
All right. Now, even though I'm probably going to, I'm, I'm most likely going to encounter the the last wanted monster on my very next attempt. I'm still going to uh, pause recording until I actually do. So I'll see you in a second. Well, there it is. It is actually the very first attempt. <laughs> right after pausing. But that's okay. Um, I think... Oh, I, as much as I would like to... Silence everyone? Uh, actually, this might be too good an opportunity to pass up. Can only... Also, I don't still don't know if silencing the uh, stun smogs actually does anything. But the wanted monster might have dirty tricks up its wing, I guess. As might the shades. I've only seen them attack. And they actually deal pretty considerable damage. Um, do you have anything useful to add? Actually, Fatal Dagger. HP to one-tenth. Sometimes ineffective. Huh. Interesting for sure. It is very expensive, though. Um, is it worth using that? Actually, using that here would hit... Hmm. Maybe I should, maybe I should focus on getting the shades. Maybe also the stun, stun smog. And I want to say stun spore all this time. Because I've been playing too much Pokemon. Not recently, but just in general. I like... Uh, God, this is not good. Um, summon... Ah, so that's Shade. Okay, we've seen this card. Steals HP, gives to allies. Yes. It's probably not going to do a whole lot, but... It might be what we... just what we need right now. Eh, not a ton. Yeah, plus three hit points. That's barely noticeable. But it did kill those two shades. Nice one. And we did get a herb. Two herbs. And he leveled up. Okay. Defense and magic. And Alec is dead. Yeah, that sucks. Thankfully, it's not a game over as soon as our main character is dead, but it's uh, sure as hell not getting any easier. Okay, that thing is very tanky. Hmm. I definitely have to uh, take out as many enemies as I can now, excluding the wanted monster. Don't stun? Oh, he's actually protected. Oh god, okay, so silence does not help at all. Dang it. I kind of figured as much. Oh wow. He's not dead, but he must be getting close. Um... I would... Is there any way for me to not damage the uh, wanted monster as well? I don't think there is. Well, in that case, might as well kill it physically. Because I would still like... Oh, actually, they're going to focus on killing Theo. Which, um, cruel as, they, as that may sound, is preferable right now. I mean, now he's dead. But he served his purpose, for the most part. At least, now it's just down to Lutz and the Razor Beak. Hopefully we can steal... Oh god. How many more attacks can I take? Uh, at least one. Possibly two. Okay, please. Steal. Nothing to steal? Actually? Uh, what? Really? A wanted monster with nothing to steal at all? Well, in that case... I should be able to just kill it. Okay. Well... All's well that ends well, I guess. A decent level up. Nothing to steal, huh? I hope I read that correctly. But, I mean, yeah, it wasn't steal fail, so it must have been 
I think I read nothing. So, like the word nothing. <laughs> uh, that should have been all the Wanted Monsters. Yeah, like four in this episode and the two up in um, whatchamacallit Falls. Uh, Galecki Falls. I've already, I had already taken care of. Um, sure, let's go ahead and collect our reward. Also for that, um, for that power plant job that we completed last time. Uh huh. Accept the job. Chief's bodyguard fought an assassin who uh, who sneaked in. Assassin escaped, but chief was not harmed. Job complete. Hmm. Right. Outlaw hunter. Uh, right. Uh, Goran. Cyclonidor. Vamp Spore and Razorbeak. Still Outlaw Hunter. Okay. And we can still accept this one. Right. Um, yeah. Contact Elnon at the Item Society in Society Village. Right. I mean, yeah, I don't have any other jobs, so. On this one, first off, you need to go to the Item Society in Society Village, as the job description clearly stated. And just to make sure, because I am paranoid like that. Yes, we did take care of all the monsters. All right then. That only took half an hour. Did we uh, get any items that I forget about? Like, we have two steel swords. Okay, uh, two fur caps actually that I don't really need to hold on to. Pretty sure I can can uh, buy fur capes at this point. Uh, can I? I can. In that case, let's sell those and those. Because why not? I could probably upgrade our weapons too, uh, or I mean, I already upgraded our weapons. I could potentially upgrade our weapons. I don't know. Although I probably don't have the necessary higher level, like higher tier um, upgrade material for it. Even if it's uh, even assuming that it's it works the same way as the upgrade from steel to silver, as in just weapon plus upgrade material. Um, right, new save. Um, yeah. I could, but I could potentially upgrade my, uh, my armor. Which, uh, considering the damage that we, we take more often than I would like, um, might not be a terrible idea. But of course, I'd have to either guess at the recipes, or um, I suppose pay the the guy at the weapon society until he tells me. I think that's how it works, isn't it? I mean, I guess, I guess I just saved, right? So might as well experiment. Uh, never mind. I have to actually... In order to do that, I have to take off my stuff first. Steel armor... Okay, so thankfully you can just take off your armor. You cannot take off your weapon, though. Which um, is a bit unfortunate. Not even for, you know, synthesis purposes. Okay. Experiment with steel armor. And... Oh, fire every route. Uh Where did I get this flame fragment? I don't remember seeing that. Unusual synthesis item. Hmm. And let's try a shimmer stone? I think it was shimmer stones for our steel weapon, so maybe it's the same for steel armor. Hopefully. Silver mail! Yes! Nice! Okay. Um, well, that worked well.
Not sure if I can upgrade. I, I can probably upgrade this the chain vest the same way. Could have just equipped him with the silver mail immediately as well, but well. Um, yeah, for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and equip um, my two frontline fighters with the best possible armor, I guess. I mean, I can't just go ahead and buy Shimmer Stones, right? Although, wait, didn't, didn't I steal one? No, I, ste I stole one from a Wanted Monster. I was only, like, speculating about possibly um, being able to steal upgrade stuff from some regular enemies. But at any rate, that doesn't seem to be easy to do. Like, stealing from regular enemies in the first place. Oh, actually, Silver Mail increases magic. Cool. I'm okay with that. Um, right. Oh, there's one lower level armor item. Interesting. Expensive armor made of pure silver. I mean, of course... Oh no, you can actually see... Yeah, 13 def, def 3 magic. That's a very hefty upgrade from steel armor. I like it. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead to the Item Society, which is over here. Oh wait, this is... <laughs> nope, this is not at all where I want to be. Actually, is it this middle building? It must be. Oh yeah, of course. I. For some reason, I completely did not see this sign. I thought, huh, this house doesn't have a sign, so it's probably not a society building. Derp. There we go. Oh, hello again. Alec, isn't it? Have you accepted my job request? Yes, you wanted to get some synthesis materials. Uh, does this have anything to do with the ball we dropped off earlier? Ah, I can see why you would think that, but no. That ball is a tough nut to crack. I'm still working on that one. Like, are you literally trying to crack it? Uh, but for now, I need help with a different synthesis research project. I need some tough alloy. If I can get a hold of even a small amount, I can create an entirely new item. That's a new one on me. What is it? It's a combination of a number of different metals. Okay, what kind of item can you make with it, exactly? Lutz, it's not like you can do anything with it. Why not? I mean, synthesis is easy enough to do. Do you have any clues as to where we might find some? Maybe, possibly, in one of those two caves that we haven't been allowed to... No, Gislam Pub. Well, that's not the kind of cave I was thinking of. But there are two... at least two caves on the world map that have not been accessible up to now. Right, Gislam Pub, sure. Good luck! Woohoo! This is the perfect job for me! You keep saying that for every single kind of job. Item synthesis. This is great! Okay, enough talk. Let's get this job finished. I guess so. Hmm. Actually, can you... Wait a second. Can you synthesize shimmer stones? Because I would really like to uh, try and see if I can make a better armor for Theo as well. I think I saw the shimmer stone in the list, but it might not have listed... No, no, actually not. Maybe you, you just can't synthesize um, upgrade materials, period. Which kind of would make sense. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. I do want to check if you can actually buy them. My guess would be no, and I think I'm... I mean, I must have... I must have looked at that particular tab in the uh, shop interface, but I just don't remember. Not specifically enough to, to be absolutely sure. Um, nope, that's still not the right button. Nope, no synthesis items whatsoever. Fair enough.
Well, in that case, let's see. Who is new in here? Um, actually, no one. Yeah, what are you staring at? Nothing, I just heard that some tough alloy was found in this pub. What? In this pub? Maybe. What of it? I was looking for information on how I might obtain some. <laughs> That'll cost you a hundred gauze. A hundred gauze? Isn't it a little steep for such simple information? Look, I ain't got time to chat with uh, uh, pop sphincters. Pop sphincters? And penny pinchers. Do you want the information or not? Simple as that. Uh, I mean, obviously I don't really have a choice here. Or there might be a... Um, there might actually be some alternative to it. Although, there might not be. That's better. Now then, listen close. There's a girl named Cheryl upstairs. She's holding some tough alloy. Ah, damn it. Could have just asked her. Cheryl? Yeah, that's her name. She ain't home right now, though. So, where did she go exactly? That'll cost you another 100 gauss. <sighs> another? If you want to argue, the door's over there. The only thing you're gonna get for free in this town is a bullet in the head. Nice one. <sighs> hmm. I mean, of course, if she's not home, that complicates things. It is locked. Hmm. I wonder if it might be possible to actually find her without paying this guy. Ah, oh well. Sure. Paid a hundred gauze. What? Summon... She has been summoned? Is that what he said? Summoned by who? That valuable tidbit will run you another a hundred... another one hundred gauze. Oh, uh, yes. Aren't you just a little greedy? Look, if you ain't paying, it's no skin off my nose. I can keep that information, and you can keep looking. <sighs> Gudan's gang were the ones that called Cheryl to the dome. Oh, the, the dome. Of course. They're planning something, but I'm sure Cheryl. I'm, I'm sure Cheryl knows that. Hmm. You better check on that. You better do. I w now I really wonder if I had just gone to the dome immediately. I don't know. Typically, JRPGs don't aren't flexible like that. You're typically expected to go from one very specific trigger point to the next. But, I don't know. In this case, I feel like it might be flexible enough. I mean, she's definitely your next party member, isn't she? Ha! That was pathetic. Your sister would have done better. Ugh. Too bad that gun you brought couldn't help you. Then again, maybe you're just too thick to know how to use it. Of course, I'm not. Ugh. How did you get so strong? I can't let you take my best gun! Hey, don't worry. It'll be in good company. I don't know how you got a nice gun like this anyway, pig. It's not your style. <laughs> I think you'll be surprised by the prize you've gotten your hands on. The only thing that surprises me is that you can put words together into a sentence. Maybe this will change your mind. Engage! Ha! What? I'm sure that's against the rules. I can't move! <laughs> What? Having a hard time flapping that smart mouth now? Looks like you misjudged your opponent, girl. Gudan, what did you do? This is just like the Academy models. What? Enough already. She's inca incapacitated. Give me the gun back and get the tough alloy. You're finally gonna pay for all the times you were. you've humiliated me. But I'm gonna need help to do this right. We're ready. Humiliation galore! Um, I think it's about time we enter the scene and stop whatever is going to happen here. I'm gonna show you what happens to people that disrespect me. You should be used to it by now, pig. We'll see how sassy you are after we finish with you. Get her, guys. He's not even doing it himself. Or doing her himself. Finally. Cheryl! Ugh. Who are you? Three on one isn't very fair, and three guys on one girl is downright obscene. You're out of line here. 
The dome rule is one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I figured as much. Hey, what's wrong with Cheryl? She's much quieter than usual. That's for sure. I mean, not that I'm complaining. Yep, yeah, same here. Cheryl, you alright? The they hit me with some kind of paralysis gun. Um, I... I need to be somewhere. <laughs> what did you do to her? None of your business! All that matters is that we won and she lost! Rules were made to be broken! Well, if that's how this loser's playing... I guess there's no rule against even enough the score. You think you got what it takes? Well, yeah? What? To put, <laughs> to put down a sick puppy? Yeah, we got what it takes. Oh yeah? Well, I... Enough. Cheryl, are you alright? I... I think so. Why did you end up here anyway? The popkeeper told us you had some tough alloy. You're looking for the same stuff Gudan and his freaks are after? Let me settle the score and I'll talk about the alloy after. No way, Cheryl. There's just one of you and three of them. There's three of us. Let us finish this. But you have no reason to. Seeing them gang up on you is reason enough. Leave it to us. We'll meet you outside. Okay. So, now, can we please finally finish off these guys once and for all? Somehow I, somehow I think we just got screwed in that trade. Why do we always why do we always get screwed, boss? Shut up and fight. Let's see how your thugs perform against equal numbers. This is going to be fun. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Right. Unfortunately, I can't capture those guys. I would really like doing that. Okay, let's see here. Badan, Eden, and Gudan. Yeah. Comparatively low level. Actually, 21, 22. Well, suddenly Alec is behind. Uh, hit point wise. They're pretty equal. Um, let's see if we can confuse these guys. Well, one of them. Hmm. Fatal Dagger? Uh, I mean, sure. Actually, I should have probably tried stealing instead. Nice. Did work. Although, if anyone has anything interesting, it's probably the, their boss. Uh, sure, you can attack this one. Oh, or you can't. 9 HP, attack, defense, agility, magic. Magic up again. Wonderful. Okay. Nothing to steal. Eh, kind of figures. Oh, and he finished off his friend. Again, no experience for nobody. Damn it. Uh, he can take another hit. Oh wow, and he did actually counter. So there is a reason, after all, to... Uh, uh, attack enemies from behind or from uh, at a distance. Okay, let's see if he has anything. No! Huh, well, maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. Okay then, Theo. Stab the guy at a distance. Uh, you can finish him off. You can just wait. Um, yeah, he's still the lowest in terms of XP, so there you go. Ugh, you'll pay for this. Let it go, Gudan. They beat us once, they can do it again. Yeah, they're better than us. I'll never admit defeat. They just got lucky. You better watch your backs. I'll be watching you. Eek. 
Uh, hey, wait up! Ah, uh, pathetic. So, about that tough alloy. Those guys won't be bothering anyone for a while. I won't bet on that. They've been a pain in my ass for months. I was about to finish them once and for all before you came along. What are you talking about? They were about to shut your sassy mouth forever. <laughs> I was just giving them a handicap. But you're a better handicap than I could have invented. Hey, is that a way to talk to the guys that saved your... Besides, in this town, it's everyone, it's everyone for themselves. Maybe so, but that's not our way. We weren't, we weren't about to leave you. How could we? You were in trouble. You mean... Here, just take this and go. Thanks. Cheryl, this is fantastic. Yeah, so, that's what you came for, isn't it? Woohoo, we did it! We got the medal! Thank you, Cheryl. <sighs> Consider us even. You saved me, I gave you the alloy. I don't owe you anything. Besides, in the Danger Dome, the rule is that the winner takes the prizes. You won, so you've in you're entitled to the spoils. Cheryl. I gotta get out of here. Huh. I don't know. Maybe not our next party member after all. Why is she trying to be so tough? That's an act? Well, act or not, she got us the tough alloy we needed. Yeah, the alloy is tough, that's for sure. Right, gotta love the little twerp for that. We better get to this to Ellen right away. Right, let's get back to the item society to deliver it. To deliver it. Um, are we gonna go there automatically? Nope, not this time. Does that mean something's going to happen along the way? It's not always easy to tell. Now. Ah, at last, at last! I mean, it didn't take all that long, did it? Oh, I can hardly contain my anticipation! Uh, sure I do. This is what you were looking for, right? Ah, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for! This metal was... This metal will enable me to begin conductive transphosphor... What? Conductive transphosphor... Um, excuse me. Will that be all? <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, I'm so sorry. Your job is complete. And thank you so much. You want to have an additional reward for me, like lower level synthesis items? Hopefully, maybe? Well, that wasn't too difficult. No, it was not. Okay. Oh. Dang, I wanted to crack at synthesizing stuff with that. I bet it would... Lads, what are you talking about? We couldn't take even part of that alloy. It was part of the job. Besides, we can always look for more on our own. Really? Well then, let's go. I want to. I want to get me some. Yeah, maybe not necessarily tough alloy, but I mean, it sounds good. Maybe if we take a job further out, we'll get a chance to get more. Perhaps. I'm still researching the item you brought. Don't lose faith. Okay, I won't. I mean, if nothing else, we can go ahead and report our quest success and see what new jobs await at the guild. If it's going to be an, a whole new batch or just one uh, new main job, basically. Another story advancing one. Get Bounty. Met Cheryl at Danger Dome and protected her from attack by the Gudan gang. Cheryl handed over tough alloy, which was delivered to client. Job successful. 
Fearless Hunter. Yay. Jump, jump. Nice. Okay. Clean up Galecki Falls. A bandit gang has been preying on junk collectors at Galecki Falls. The Gislam Guild requests the removal of the bandits. Can do. Lots of traffic. Take out the bandits at once. Sure. Uh, search for the secret fruit. Okay. A girl staying at the inn with another guest, Lior, is extremely weak with fatigue. Lior wants her to eat a special fruit that cures illness. See him at the inn for details. Okay. Full details, go to the inn and... Uh, for, for full details, go to the inn and ask the client in person. Gotcha. Monster invasion. Monsters have descended on both the ruined city and Galecki Falls. Oh, how's this gonna work then? If I have two quests at Galecki Falls? A hunter has already been dispatched to handle one battle. Meet him in the pub to coordinate efforts. Oh, I see. Oh, huh, I still wonder. I think I... Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm just mildly interested. Just mildly curious how they handle that. I mean, it's probably just going to trigger one, one of the two quests um, first, and then the other one the next time I enter that that location. Galecki Falls, in this case. So maybe I should send him to Galecki Falls and take care of the monsters in the city, so that I don't have to fight twice in the same location, just for some extra, um, you know, variation. Synthesis tournament partner. Right, we can't actually even look at the description, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to do all of those next time anyway. Although I will need to enter the uh, oops, enter the inn. So part of this next quest might trigger uh, trigger right now, or it might not. A customer. I can hardly believe my eyes. Well, I mean. We've been your customers a number of times. Okay. Right. Save. Over this one, yep. Yep, yep. Alright, and with that, I am going to end this episode. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.